there. I might I might redo this because we're actually live. We just go, we just go, yeah, we're live. This is Dave's LLC chat. I'll have to edit the first minute, of course. But we've got a legend here. It's John Gibbons from the Anfield Rap, of course, in the house. Um, do you know what today's gonna be about, guys? It is gonna be about Jurgen Norbert Klopp. Appreciation show. The Anfield Rap have made a new documentary, a five-part series, guys. Five-part series. First part was out today called The Challenge at 12 o'clock on their YouTube channel. The link will be down in the description, so check it out. Four more to go. Four more to go. And to talk about it is the legend himself, John Giddens. John, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well, mate. Thanks for having me on. Sorry for the start there. The first minute was uh, up in the air, but we <laughs> shall sort it out at the beginning. Um, Jurgen Klopp, obviously, we're going to talk about him and the Anfield rap making the documentary, but what was the genesis of this documentary? What was the idea around who, who taught him it first? What, what happened there? So, we... we... About a year ago, sort of Neil, Neil, in the way that he does, very forward thinking, was had his eye on the World Cup and was saying, like, you know, there's this period where there's not going to be any Liverpool games, uh, not going to be much going on. Little did we know there was going to be all the ownership stuff and all that. Um, but, yeah, um, in theory, there was going to be a period where we wouldn't have much LFC stuff to talk about. So so we sort of said, well, you know, should we have a bit of a think about things we could do with them? It was Fuwa to San, actually, who's, who's uh, in our marketing team, but but... On, he's a videographer um wanted really wants to do a documentary and, and lead on a documentary about Jürgen Klopp really exploring you know his background and and, and what sort of made him into the person and, and manager that he is today really and so so that's what we decided to go for um and did a big push over the summer did a lot of filming over the summer and then into the season as well you know in Germany over here um on as many people as we could speak to, really, who we thought would would have a real insight into into the boss, because you know we know from from the rap, you know, there's there's obviously some huge people involved in this football club. We've got some magnificent footballers, you know. There's there's a lot of people, you know, at the very top of the club who were who were who were interested and important, but but no one, you know, is quite like Jürgen, is he? He's you know a, a, a leader, a manager. Um, a, inspirational person and and has, has brought the glory back to this football club and so you know he is probably the most interesting person to to find out more about you know he's, he's led you know the long, longer life than most of these sorts of players really and had an interesting life really because you know he wasn't a superstar footballer uh he was a good footballer better than he makes out um but just a bit better but, than you john was he? <laughs> maybe <laughs> But you know, but he wasn't, you know, he wasn't, you know, a big name of, of of German football, you know, as a player really. But but he was, he he knew and learned enough about the game to, and and was enough of a natural leader to apply himself, you know, as a coach and and go on to do what he's done. And so, you know, we felt there was there was so much more to find out about him, to learn about him, and to share about him. And so, you know, the the lads, you know, got onto it and 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 tried to do it. As I say, I mean, I know a bit about him myself. I did a bit of reading up on him, but he's a private man, though, John. I mean, he's he's world famous, probably one of the top two, three coaches in the world right now. You would think you mention a name, it's gonna be it's gonna be Klopp or Pep or someone like that. But he is a private man, isn't he? And I'm sure we'll find out one or two things in the in the documentary that we go, wow, never knew that. Do you know that type of thing? Yeah, I mean, we 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 don't sort of you know like delve into his private life or anything like that. We're not really, you know, that sort of business. And, and listen, we're, we're football people at the end of the yeah. day, are we, you know? And so it's 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 finding out more about what shaped him into the person and, and manager that he is today, really. So we, so we go to Glatton, which is where he's from, and speak to people about about their experiences of, of Jürgen and what Jürgen means to them, really, because that's, you know, important to, to remember that, you know, he didn't just land from the moon. Like you, Dave. Um, you know, he's uh, Mars. It was Mars. <laughs> you know, but he didn't just he just arrive here. He, he was formed by his time in Germany, and yeah. and we think of Jurgen Klopp as being ours, don't we? You know, belongs to 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 Liverpool supporters. But you know, you go to Dortmund and and you go to to Mainz and you go to Glatten and, and to Frankfurt, and they've got their own Jurgen Klopp and and their own stories and their own memories and their own extreme levels of appreciation. Um, that they want to talk about as well. So it was great to sort of gather those in t all, all together. And the way the lads have done the doc is, is in teams, really. And so looking at uh, the challenges that he's faced and, and how sort of similar they were and, and how 
there's a bit of a theme where you know he goes into football clubs who are who are sleeping a little bit. I wouldn't necessarily yeah. say sleeping giants in every case because you know you won't call say in minds a, a, a giant of world football, but of clubs who are a bit down on the look and a little bit down you know, in terms of, you know, the self-esteem a little bit, really, and, and you know, feeling a bit sorry for themselves, wondering whether the next, you know, the next great days will, will, will ever come and, and turning them around and giving them pride and giving them success and, and, and giving them hope, really. And, and that's what he did for us, but that's what he did for Dortmund, that's what he did for Mainz, and, and, and you know, that's that's what he was like as, as a footballer, really, as well. And so it's 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 finding these common themes between his time, you know, here and, and over there and, and exploring those, finding out how he did it. And that's what episode two is all about. OK, well, he had these challenges, he had these problems, but how did he do it? And then the later parts are all about the glory and trophies and, and then his legacy as well, which is going to be really interesting, his legacy on, on, on certainly this football club. You know, because we will lose him eventually, of course, like you do with that if you want. But, but what does he leave uh, is an interesting thing as well. Well, what's important as well, I think, is stability. When he signed that long-term contract in, um, just before the summer, the 2026 contract, it gave us the stability. There was everybody worrying and what's going to happen. Never mind players coming in. Klopp's the number one, the number one man at the club. Let's be real. You know, players are players. Players come and go. But he's the man. He's the captain of the ship. You know, you need him at the helm of the ship. To, to straight straight through these dodgy waters, as they say, with ownership battles and stuff like that. But if we have Klopp there, it always gives you that sense of stability and less panic and stuff like that. You can see that in the fan base over the summer. Never forget about transfers. Klopp's the number one transfer. That was the big signing from FSG when he signed till twenty twenty six. I still think they might get another year or two out and John after that. But what do you think? You think that was the stability we needed to sign him down to a long term contract? Yeah, it's. I completely agree with you, Dave, and it's interesting because Liverpool has always been a manager's club, and the documentary sort of starts with that, really, in that, you know, with other players, you know, they might be obsessed with the, with the, star, with the star player, yeah. um, whereas I think, you know, with, with Liverpool, we've we've always looked to the manager, and we've always looked to the manager for for the leader, and Damien Cavana starts the, the, the documentary beautifully when he says, you know, it's a tough gig in a way because you need to be you know, fantastic manager, but also, you know, the, the, the kind of person you are, it is really important. And Shankly started all that. And Shankly was, you know, not just a fantastic football brain, but the way he spoke to people, the way he inspired not just his own players, but but supporters and and, and the city and, and beyond was, was quite remarkable, really. And so ever since then, you know, Liverpool supporters have had, you know, a view of what a manager should be. And, and that's not just... You know, a style of football thing. It's much, much more than that. And when you know managers who come in who haven't lived up to that, um, they've they've quickly been found out and quickly been 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 you know moved on. Um, and so it is it is interesting our relationship with the managers, and I think it is slightly different to to other football clubs. And I think Klopp fits in perfectly with that. He gets that. He 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 understands what his role is, and and steps up to it and, and, and thrives in it, really. And that's why, you know, it was a, a marriage made in heaven, wasn't it, between Liverpool Football Club and Jürgen Klopp because we, we suit each other perfectly. We're, 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 you know, it was it was the perfect club for, for him to move to after his time in Dortmund. And I'm, and I'm sure we all agree that, you know, what, what a fantastic time we've had together. <laughs> and look, the, the thing for me is as well, I think he gets the fan base. He gets the city of Liverpool itself, never mind Anfield and the players and the staff. He gets the whole thing that surrounds it, the whole bubble basically around Liverpool. He gets the whole thing and he can speak. He's an orator. He's, a, he's, he's up there with the top Obama orators in history. Like he can speak. He, he seems to say the right thing all the time. You know, obviously he speaks German, but he speaks English very well. You know what I mean? He really does speak English very well. And when he speaks, people listen, John. When he speaks, people listen. You know, top people listen. There was a program a few years ago talking about him that he could be, he's so good at getting across to people and being a um, a man's man, you know, player's man. And he's able to, he'd be able to be a CEO of a top international company. That's the level this guy is at. You know what I mean? What, what, what do you, I mean, you've interviewed him a few times. I mean, what way does he come across to you? Yeah, we've been lucky enough to be in his company, you know, quite a few times now. And, you know, he is exactly sort of how you'd expect, really. You know, Jürgen Klopp, you know, I remember speaking to, to you know, one of the media guys 
you know, when he came in and just said, like, you know, he he, he needs no media training because he's just him and, and he's going to be relentlessly him and and you just have to embrace that and, and ride the wave. And, and why would you want to change him? You know, because he is such a, a, a special guy and a special manager. And uh, like you say, David's way of communicating, you know, is so kind of pure and good and, and, and straight that, you know, you wouldn't want to sort of, you know, change that or, or try and sort of smooth out a few edges, really, because, you know, he is who he is and, and, and you know, we're all better for that. But I think, you know, when we've met him, he, you know, he, he understands that we're fan media and I think he enjoys that. And, and hopefully he's enjoying us telling his story as well. And hopefully he feels like we've done him justice and there'll be a few people from his past who he probably hasn't seen for a while. And yeah, and I hope he does watch it and I hope he enjoys it and I hope he, he knows that it's made you know, out of love, really, it is, a, it is a, you know, something that we want to do because, you know, how we feel about, about him, you know, and, and how grateful we are to him. And, and hopefully that comes across when people watch it. Let's hope he has a nice air dinger sitting there watching the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, shout out to them because they've been great because, because yeah. you know, it's expensive for us to do this. And we made a commitment that we were going to do it, but you know it's it's tough for for a lot of businesses at the moment. You know, in ways we all know. You know, people. You know, there's there's a cost of living crisis going on, and so people, you know, are, are struggling to, to buy things, and that includes subscriptions to to Anfield Wrap and, and and merch and all the things that sort of keep us going. We wanted to do this. We knew it wasn't going to be something. To, you know that, you know, there was going to be cheap um, and some or something that you know, was necessarily going to put on, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but we want to do it for, for the ones that we had as a thank you for sort of sticking with us, especially during the World Cup when there's no Liverpool games on. And, and all, but, you know, and I think it came on quite late. We were doing it anyway, but we were sort of speaking to them about maybe doing something together and then they agreed to partner with us. And it just allows us to take everything to another level, really. So, so a lot of the stuff that you'll see in the documentary, you know, pictures from, from his time in, in Dortmund and stuff and a video footage of, you know, 95% of what you see is shot by us, don't get me wrong, but those little bits you'll see that, that are from his time in Germany that are uh, eye-wateringly expensive to acquire. Crazy, but, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I know. Just just a, a, like a minute of footage, you know, can, can cost, you know, thousands of euros and so and so and so but but it does really lift it so you know with with the help of, of someone like Eddie coming on like that really, that really sort of helps so so it's good to have a partner with it but obviously like you know they they're they're not asking for edits and stuff or anything like that they trust us to tell the story it's the story we want to tell and and that story is of, of Jürgen and, and and everything that's brought him to to, to where we all are now and Erdinger is a nice beer too. <laughs> well, that helps. Which helps, doesn't it? That that that, that does help. Yeah, we have had a nice. A few of the boys have had a nice air to get to celebrate upstairs today to celebrate the release. Brilliant, brilliant. But um, so what way is the form out of this? Obviously, you released the first the challenge the first episode today on YouTube at twelve o'clock, guys. The link will be in the description, so check it out. But there's four more episodes after this. You have to be a subscriber to uh, the Anfield Rap. Is that correct? Yeah, so it's a, it's for our video subscribers, yeah, uh, who'll get access from from now. So if you download the app, um, if you haven't already, then you could, or you can go to theamphoreapp.com forward slash subscribe and subscribe from there uh, if you want to get the rest. If you do download the app, you do get a few free tokens that we give you when you do that. So I think that'll be enough to to certainly buy episode two if you if you sort of not quite sure you want to get come on board yet. But that is, you know, all, all, all there for you and. Yeah, we just hope people enjoy it. We hope people come on board. We hope people understand that, like I said before, that this, these things cost a lot of money to make. And so, you know, we can't just... Whack, Gremlins whack today, John, sorry. <laughs> I just kept going, mate. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we can't just... Sort of, <laughs> so we can't just, you know, whack them all on YouTube. You know, it is. it does need to be sort of, you know, as I say, sort of paid for by, by subscriptions and, and things like that. But it does, you know, we do hope people like it. Um, yeah, enjoy the first one for free. Download the app and maybe use your tokens for the, for the second one. And then hopefully that, along with all the other great stuff that we're producing day by day, uh, hopefully will encourage you to, to subscribe and come on board and, board and become part of the community and help us make the next one, uh, whatever that may be. And also, a subscription to the Anfield Wrap is a great Christmas present, a really good Christmas present. I would agree. So if you've got anyone who's saying, oh, what you're allowed to buy for, what, what should we be buying for you? And, and you've said, oh, I don't know, I'll have a think. Uh, the forward slash shops, that's our merch store, uh, sells loads of T-shirts and stuff like that. But also you can 
buy three, six, and 12 month subscriptions to the Anfield app as well. So if you've got um, sister, brother, cousin uh, who's saying to you, I don't know what to get you for Christmas, then uh, point them to the Anfield app subscription. We set it up all up for you. We send all the stuff out. It's dead easy to, to get involved. And yeah, if you get a, a six month subscription for Christmas, then you'll definitely be able to watch uh, all five uh, from there. So that's not too bad, is it? And you will not be let down because it's top-notch content, audio and visual. As we know, the Anfield rap, absolute legends. John, we've had a few gremlins, so I think we'll leave it there. The gremlins <laughs> are attacking me. They're attacking me. Um, as I say, congratulations on the documentary. It looks absolutely fantastic. Netflix might take it off you. You never know. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the, the more than welcome to come and have a chat. Uh, do you know where we are? <laughs> on, on the walls of front and on the period in Liverpool. Uh, wow. and come, and, come and have a chat. It'd be, good, it'd be great to get it out to as many different people as possible. Listen, we want our subscribers to enjoy it first because it's a thank you to them because they've supported what we do and keep us going and, and keep us in these these great studios and offices in town. So we want the subscribers to enjoy it first. But after that, you know, it'd be great if we could go all around the world and, yeah. and as many people because yeah. I think... I think Distribution. You know, well, also because I think it's, it'd be interesting for, for, for football fans, for... For, for people, you know, interested in him as a person as much as a manager, really. It's not, I, I think, you know, Liverpool fans will love it. Uh, I'm pretty confident, but but also I think I think lots of other people uh, would, would like it too. So, yeah, the, the more eyes on it, uh, the better, uh, eventually. <laughs> No, you're right, John. I think so. I think I think it, this could have legs. This could go. This could this could be it, baby. Could be in the cinema. A cinema release next year. <laughs> well, production so, value is good enough, eh? Production value is good enough. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. We leave it there. Links will be in the description. Give the Anfield Wrap your subscription. Years, I think it's a six month and a twelve month subscription for a Christmas present. It's a fantastic. It's a birthday present, Christmas present, Halloween present, whatever present you want to give. <laughs> Give the present. The guys are absolutely legends of Liverpool and Liverpool Football Club. And this is a big shout to Klopp. And it's it's a big thanks to Klopp and what all he's done for the city and for the club and for the fans as well as the Anfield rap giving it to the fans. But thank you very much for coming on, John. Sorry for a few gremlins, but I'll end it. It should be grand. Stay safe. Talk soon. Guys, thanks for the chat. Like and subscribe and check out the Anfield Raps. Links down in the description. Talk soon. Enjoy your Christmas and enjoy the documentary. Cheers, guys.